Yes. Glad you come. Glad you come. Glad you come. How about some of that good spaghetti? We got everything. And then God said, listen to the Nick the Rat Show. That's what he said to that guy. And it saved the world. Hello, everybody. This is me. I'm Nick the Rat. Uh, it's Wednesday. It's midnight. It's midnight in the sewer with Nick the Rat. Oh, man. Episode 51. If you're keeping track. If you're not, then, uh, well, you should start now. So we're in December now. This is... Uh, and last week I was talking about Santa Claus and how he's evil and he lets people spy on you and, you and it makes it normal. It normalizes it. Well, after that, I've been having some weird experiences down here in the sewer. There's been some strange happenings, let me tell you. Oh, boy. I've been hearing, like, voices and noises and seeing lights and shadows moving around. I think, I think Santa might be... I think he was haunting me. And, uh... I got lucky because I know somebody that lives out in Africa. He's uh, my West African friend. He's a, a spiritual advisor and he's uh, he helped me out. He came down to Brooklyn. He came into the sewers. He's been here for like the past week or so. And he does EVPs, uh, electric voice phenomenon things. And wow, let me tell you, I am 100% positive that Santa's evil and he's out for me. He wants a piece. I'll be uh, I'll be playing that throughout the show. Uh, it's pretty scary. Um, we also got you know we got voicemails. We got news. We got a whole bunch of news. We got a lot of voicemails. We got a lot of important stuff coming up. But I should just start. I should start off with playing some music because because I'm nervous. I'm scared that Santa's just gonna come in here at any time. He's gonna it's because it's gonna come out of the walls. Or I have no idea. I'm pretty scared. Uh, you'll be scared too if if you're the nervous kind. Oh, actually, before we do any of that, ah, uh, yeah, it's it's time to it's time to get a little drunk and listen to BVSMV Reverie.
trying to smooth the mood out before, before we listen to these. These things really creep me out. I'm nervous to even listen to them again. SMV Gregory. It was uh, that was that was really soothing. Well, I'm sorry if you're all soothed out right now because uh, the fear is going to come into your hearts. This is a uh, so Wat Watki. He came from uh, Africa. He was doing a whole bunch of these. Uh, he was doing a lot of recording down here. He's he's a spiritual person. He knows what's going on. And uh, I guess I should just play the the first one for you. Now the the EVPs they work like this. He, he he just plays, he just records, he puts like a microphone in the middle of the room, I don't know, and then he starts like talking, and we picked up, we picked up some scary stuff, oh, uh, so okay, let's, uh, let's find, what we got here, uh, oh man, alright, here, here, listen to, this is like the first one that we got over here, I think this is it, let's, let's listen to this one. Uh, here, put that there. Yeah, remember, remember I told you how much all the weed that I had in here, it's gone, remember? And look, it's its still not there. I didn't smoke any of that. Okay, let us put the recording device here. And now we will go away. Let us go away. Okay, okay where are we going? We're going to go you hear him? I smoked all oh, that wait. dank weed. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I just had to pause that. See, this is my voice. So that was I was talking to to Waki and and we he put it like it was like my cookie jar. That's where I put my my weed. And you could hear Santa just laughing over this stuff. It's crazy. And we didn't hear this. As soon as we played it back, we heard this. It was incredible. These EVPs, they're real people. They're, they're re okay, let's just, let me rewind that a little bit here. Oh boy, I'm scared. He's here. He's smoking my weed. And now we will go away. Let us go away. Okay, okay. where are we going? We're going to go. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh. Like that, I heard him. I smoked all oh, that wait. dank weed. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. All right, I'm going to go over here. I feel stupid. Well, yeah, I felt I felt stupid. I I I didn't really feel. We were just standing there in a silent room, and he was just like moving his hands in weird ways. And then, and then he played the recording back for me. He didn't dis. He was he played it right in front of me after we recorded it, and and I heard that. And it it's there's more. There's a lot more people. There's so many that's I can't believe this. I think I might have to move out of the sewer. <sighs> All right, let's let's go to some news. I gotta get I gotta get this off of my mind here. Oh boy, let's listen to some some wood shit. Authorities have seized 100 snakes, lots of rats, two miniature pigs, and a few dozen birds from a New York home where dozens of creatures were found dead. Officials with the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals in Niagara County say they obtained a warrant Tuesday after getting a tip that animals were living in deplorable conditions 
at a home in Wilson, north of Buffalo. Wow. Deplorable conditions. Uh, how do they? I wonder who ratted them out. That's, that's stupid. SPCA investigators say snakes, birds, rats, and many pigs were found inside the home, plus 15 cats kept in an enclosure in the back. Wow. The snakes were kept in small boxes. Officials say dozens of other snakes and birds had died inside the home. The homeowners face animal cruelty charges and three counts of endangering the welfare of a child. Oh, my God. See, that whole story, the whole thing was just about, oh, animals. There was like 30 cats in a box in the backyard. And then they're like, oh, yeah, and there was a kid, too. Jeez. I, I don't know how these people do these things, man. There's some crazy people out there. I wonder if the kid tipped him off. The kid was like, hey, man, come inspect my father. He's, he's a fucking nut. Um, if... If you want to talk about Santa or uh, animal abuse, then get, you could give me a call at 917-719-5923. And if you call during the show, you could talk now about it. And if you don't, uh, leave a voicemail and I'll, I'll play it like like this voicemail. I'm going to load that guy. In. Hey, man, it's Jimmy. Uh, just uh, just trying to let you know, man. I don't know if you uh, know this or anything, but, uh, you know, things are fucked up, man. Things are really fucked up. You know, uh, Donald Trump made an announcement that uh, he's going to get rid of all the, uh, you know, illegal aliens. And, uh, and by that, I, I assume that he's trying to say that he's going to get rid of every single alien that has landed on this planet. And we can't let that happen, man. I mean, I'm all fucked up right now. I'm fucking K2 and shit like that, man. I'm, I'm fucking wigging out over here. But you got to listen to me, man. I mean, we got to do something about this. We got to stop Donald Trump from getting rid of all the aliens. So uh, let me know what we can do to stop this, man. We got to rise up, man. We got to do something, man. We got to, whatever it takes, man. Whatever it fucking takes, man. I'm down. Revolution! Uh, we we could fill Donald Trump's house with dead animals and and call the ASPCA on him, or I don't know that might help. But but yeah, I don't know if he's got the power to get rid of every alien on the planet. There's a couple invisible ones. I think Santa might be an alien. Where is he? I'm 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 actually scared. Um, I'm gonna play another song. This song will make me feel a lot less scared. Cause, Cause, a, it's by Akira, and b, it's called Bare Knuckle City. Come on, man. What's what's to be scared about that? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh boy.
Bada Paga. Oh man, now I'm feeling better. Whew. Uh, thanks, Akira. Thanks, Akira, for bringing me back to to normality with Bare Knuckle City. Sa- Santa ain't got nothing on me. But man, I think he might. Uh, if I'm not around next week, you, you know why. Sa- Santa-, Santa killed me. Maybe his uh, spirit killed me or something. I don't know what it was, but... <sighs> if, and if you're not fully convinced yet, there's more. Uh... Where's this one? Uh, let's play. Let's play this other EVP we got. Me and Watki. This was scary. Where? Where was the? Yeah, let's. Is that it? No. What? What's the? Here's one. Let's listen to. The, yeah, this 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 EVP right here. These things are haunted. I don't uh, even. Yeah. So, this is where I saw the the weird lights I told you about. Okay. Let's do a recording oh, oh, oh. over here. And we will see if we can pick up anything. Oh, if the spirit, the spirit of Santa is here, please reveal yourself. Naughty. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to work. How much are you charging by the hour again? Did you hear? Did I heard Santa laughing in that one. It was definitely, it was, uh, it was faint, but I, his spirit's coming through. It's weird how the, uh, the recording can pick that up. But we we can't hear it as uh, uh, as normal people. Oh man, it's, I think I might be doomed if 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 you not offend off, if you not offend off of Santa Claus, give give me a call, please. Just let me know. Uh, let's go to some more news because news is important. A new study suggests why the number of mosquitoes has jumped tenfold in the past fifty years in certain U.S. states. Is it? Is it because there's uh, a a lot of really good mosquito porn going on out there, and and they're mating, they're in heat, they're in mosquito heat? Is it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's find out. The major factors seem to be increased urbanization and shrinking levels of the pesticide DDT in oh. the environment. The oh. study's co-author Marm Kilpatrick said, "At first glance, re- wait a second. It's because of the that chemical we spray all over everything is disappearing, so there's more mosquitoes. I'm, I'm surprised they didn't say it was global warming. Like, wow, I wonder. I guess the Dow or whatever chemical company they're they're in need right now. Let's let's listen more. Recent increases in mosquito populations appear to be linked to rising temperatures from climate change, but careful analysis of data over the past Wait, century oh. show that it's actually recovering from the effects of DDT. Kilpatrick says that climate change still could be a factor moving forward, especially oh. as temperatures continue to rise in the winter. Well, there you go, everybody. We're all going to die. You go, because of climate change, probably still. They, I like they, how they throw it in there. At first, you know, you're going to die because the, was it the DDT? There's no DDT, so you're going to die. But we'll, we'll, we'll just say climate change, too, because you got to stay scared. Got to keep them all pretty nervous. I'm pretty nervous. Oh, man. If, 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 uh, if I knew where my tabs were. Oh, snap. One second here. I'm trying to find some voicemail to play for everybody at nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Sorry, I'm a little uh, I'm a little tipsy. I've been drinking since Santa showed up. This is a uh, pretty horrifying stuff. Let's listen to this voicemail. Hi, Nicarad. This is Candace calling you from Colorado. I was just wondering if you could describe your sewer to me. Are the tunnels curtsy? Are they long? Are they really moist? I want to know all about your tunnels, Nick the Rat. You just let you just let me know. You say it over the radio. I'll be listening in for sure. I love you. Um, Candace, uh, my my tunnels are long and they run deep through the. The, the streets of Brooklyn. Wow, that was a little bit creepy, that phone call right there. Um, Maybe if I play some nice, happy, like, Christmassy music. Wow. 
Maybe then uh, Santa leave me alone, right? Maybe that that's a good way to do it. I don't know. Let's listen. Let's listen to this here. It's a uh, Winter Trouble by M Y U U. I gotta play something a little Christmas Eve. What do you know? It did. It hits the season. I thought I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer You trampling my HS signal down in Mexico I can't get my slave labor coats made I can't get my signal down there because you trampling my motherfucking signal I can hear that shit coming up through the... That was Winter Trouble by MYUU. Oh man, when there's winter trouble coming, you gotta go a running. Uh, I'm uh, the, the Watke. He left. He he didn't stay around too long because uh, he was pretty terrified. He he's he's been talking to spirits for like at least twenty years now, but this is the worst he's ever seen it. Usually he'll do like twenty hours of uh, EVP recording before he hears anything. But apparently, I don't know, the activity down here in the sewer was, it was pretty, uh, it was pretty crazy. It will, let's listen to another EVP recording that we got. Is this, I, this might not be it, but I gotta hear it. Let's see. Oh, man. This is kind of creepy, man. Uh, so, does it, you ever get any of these Santa reportings in, in Africa, or is it just uh, in the States? Uh... You are an expert on, on the spirit of Santa, right? Yes, yes, I am the only Santa spiritualist in all of Africa. Oh, oh God, who's that? Did you hear that? Oh, we must be close. We must be close. See, that, that was like two things that happened. Sometimes there was like real noises that came in, but... Hold on one second. Let me see if I could get this on the, on the spinner over here. I gotta spin this one in here. Because that was just... Let's see here. Oh man, this is kind of creepy, man. Uh, so, does it, you ever get any of these Santa reportings in in Africa, or is it just uh, in the States? Uh, you are an expert on, on the spirit of Santa, right? Right there. Did you hear that? That wasn't there when we recorded it. But it's, wow, that was creepy. Uh, listen, on, on the spirit of Santa, right? Of all the yes, yes, I am boys. the only <laughs> Santa spiritualist in all of Africa. Oh, who's that? Did you hear that? Oh, we must be close. We must oh, be God. close. That was horrifying. That is that is bone chilling. <sighs> I heard the bang. There was like a pop noise, and but in the background, you hear him. It sounded like he said he swallows the souls of all the boys and girls. Oh God, Santa's 
This is wrong. Uh, I'm terrified. Uh, let's let's listen to a voicemail to calm me down. I don't I don't like this. I need like a roommate or something. I I was happy when Waki was here. Let's listen to a voicemail. Nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. You can give me a call at any time. Well, obviously somebody forgot their medication. Uh, ow. Thanks for the the phone call, person. Place or thing. I don't know what the heck that was. I can't stay. That was was that an alien or a human? These humans are going crazy out there. I I can't explain what you guys are up to. Uh, it's it's kind of scary. You you guys are all in to yoga, like weird weird fucking yoga, man. I'm gonna start doing like rat yoga down in the sewer, sewer yoga. Listen to this news article right here. This this is ridiculous. Uh, humans. Go yoga is a new phenomenon. It's so much fun. If you didn't hear it, she said goat yoga. Goat yoga. Everybody loves it. It's basically yoga with goats. Don't think too much about it. Oh, okay. No problem. I won't. I won't think about it too much. Yoga with goats. What is what is wrong with you people? You know what? I hope Santa comes back here and takes my soul away and puts me with a naughty boys and girls somewhere. Says yoga with goats. Every class sells out really fast. Uh, we have fifty to sixty people in every class, and we have eight goats. They're all pregnant right now. I wonder how. I wonder how that happened. Is is after goat yoga? Is there goat banging going on or something in pregnations and so we'll soon have 16 to 20 goats because they have two or three babies and we just have so much they have two, two, three, they have two three babies all right so there you, we got that but that's not the end of it i'm telling you man i'm gonna become famous and i'm gonna make uh nick the rat sue yoga sue 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 yoga come down to the sewer the 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 smells and the heat really could expunge the the chemicals from your body. Listen to this one. This is. What's the new Bikram yoga? Rooftop yoga. Doing oh. yoga on a rooftop is the new thing all over the world. Yeah. And, and also, if you feel shitty about life, you can just jump off when you're done with your yoga class. You get a. We all stretched and worked out, ready to go right over that edge. There are pop-up yoga classes on the roof of London's 87-store building, The Shard. 28-year-old Sky launched the, the pop-up classes after she quit her sports media job. She says, I just wanted something that was a little bit more tongue-in-cheek. The hour-long classes are meant to give non-yogis a nice break from work. London isn't the only place that offers rooftop yoga. There are classes in Indonesia on a helicopter pad and all over. Oh, the, you think the, the helicopter pad could be better used than doing yoga? I don't know. For Los Angeles. The Whoa Shit News Network, baby. It's, it's some really good stuff. So, yeah. Oh, boy. They're, they're doing yoga all over the place. Soon they're going to be doing it in the sewer. Uh, you heard it here first, and I'm going to bring it to you. But you know what else I'm going to bring to you? I'm going to bring you the flashlight tag by Grayskull.
as heck, man. That was Flashlight Tag by Grayskull. In the gray spell with an E. Or, yeah, I don't know. Who's, who do you spell with an A? I don't know. Uh, so, we still have a whole bunch more of these EVPs. I gotta I gotta play some more of them, because they, they freak me out. I, I did not think these were real. You could do it, too. Basically, you just go to a, a place that you feel has a real spiritual presence to it. And you just hit record, and that was just, like, he just had a little tape recorder. It was, uh, it was, hold on. <laughs> oh, man. A little gassy from this. They gotta make, uh, beer that doesn't make it gassy. I guess that would just be liquor. Liquor's the, uh, anyway. So, yeah, you just go to a, a place that you feel feel energy coming from it, and, and you just hit record. You just start talking, and sometimes you hear stuff come back, and, uh. Yeah, so me and Waki, we were, we were listening, and we we found these things over here. So, uh, did I just play that? One? Yeah, let's play. Let's see what this is. I don't know if this is the same one or a different one, but listen, let's listen. It. There's like I got a crazy one. One of them was like super extra paranormal, but uh, uh that's coming on later in the show, everybody. Right now, you're gonna hear this one. What is that noise? I don't know. What do you think it is? I don't know. Let's listen close. I hear, I hear it. It is, sounds like a bang bang. It's usually bang bang down here. Uh, oh my god, you, it sounds okay, like a baby. Like Saturdays, there's sometimes a, it's a party. There's a lot of bang bang going on, but I don't know what that noise is either. It is like it's coming from thin air, my friend. All right, I'm scared. You should be. Santa is one badass motherfucker. I would not mess with him. Oh God! <laughs> the noise stopped. Yes, indeed. I was rubbing my testicles together. A very good way to uh, read spirits. In the area. Oh, that's that's great. That's great. Keep rubbing them. Um, uh, look. Luckily, there was no video for that. His he had he had a he had a set on him, boy. Wow. But all I heard that whole time when I was in the we were in one of the air vents, it was that banging noise. But if you listen back, 
You hear? You, I heard like it sounded like a kid screaming. I don't know. That was horrifying. When it's like when you hear like kids in there, you don't want to hear that. You, it's like where are they? Where is where is Santa keeping them? Um, I wish Watkey would come back. He was such a he was such a a pillar in my life. Oh man, if you know anything about kids being abducted by Santa or. Or any of these things, give me a call at 917-719-5923. Uh, and if I don't pick up, just uh, just leave me a voicemail. Much like uh, this person did over here. Hold on one second. What, what the hell? Yeah, that's so weird. This voicemail. Hello, Mr. Rat. This is Charlie from GoDaddy.com. Oh, I'm calling no. you today to let you know that you owe us a balance of $100. And until you actually pay us this $100, we're going to hold your site hostage. That's right. We're not going to let you post anything, update anything. We're not going to let you do pretty much anything at all until you pay us your balance. I'm just letting you know you can reach me at 1-800-GO-DADDY. No, all right? Don't, don't, and uh, who's no. your fucking daddy? All right, bye-bye. Oh, man. What did he say over there? 1-800-GO-DADDY. All right? And uh, who's your fucking daddy? All right, bye-bye. Oh, well, that's just rude. Listen, guys, you you and your stupid servers, you upgraded your servers, you changed my IP. Then the shit broke, and you wouldn't... It, my site was down for, like, two days. I lost millions of dollars that week. And I have to... I'm taking ads now, too. So there's going to be... We have to play an ad to make up for this. Uh, also, there's going to be... There's going to be another episode of Bigfoot Assault coming up after the show. So we might as well just run run the Bigfoot promo, right? We gotta run the promo. All right, the it looks like Santa's in the the booth over there. He's giving me the thumbs up though. Oh, what the fuck, Santa! All right, I'll go. I gotta go to the the thing over here. Sounds like the uh, ad broke. There we go. Bigfoot assault. Bigfoot assault is real cases of people being assaulted by Bigfoot. And we're here to cope with it. So, tune in every night. Whoa, yeah, uh, so there's a there's another episode of Bigfoot Assault coming up after the show. I've been whipping Mystery Man into shape. He, he's not totally there yet, but he's getting there. Ooh, ah, uh, so yeah, Bigfoot Assault. Oh, man. That was weird. It wasn't playing for a second. Uh, let's go to the news because news is good, right? Uh, yeah, let's, let's see what we got. Amy Schumer is showing her critics who's boss. Discussing rumors that she may star in a live action Barbie movie, Schumer took aim at those trolls and critics who don't think she looks the part. I think she looks great for the part for Barbie. She's plastic and fake, so and she's also not very funny. Just like Barbie. After posting a swimsuit pic on Twitter, Schumer had this to say. When I look at... Oh, man. That swimsuit picture of her was... It was gorgeous. Uh, I'm still masturbating to it right now. In the mirror, I know who I am. I'm a great friend, sister, daughter, and girlfriend. I'm a badass comic headlining arenas all over the world and making TV and movies and writing books where I lay it all out there and I'm fearless like you can be. I say if I'm beautiful, I say if I'm strong, you will not determine my story. I will. Well, damn. Talk about being a f- facetious or narcissistic or something. Damn, she was just, she's just, she thinks she's great. She's on the top of her game right now, everybody. Watch out for Amy Schumer, because if she falls on you, it's going to be hurt. Oh, man. All right, so I got to get that bad taste out of my mouth. Uh, and I gotta get this good taste in there. This is a pink eye, filthy Frank, weird McDonald's rap. Let's listen to this. And it should be interesting. I got a story that'll waggle your eyes. I got a burger and a thingy of fries. I think we disguise our lives when we speak, but we show it with what we eat. We do 
need eternal demons with heaps of internal shitty memes. Ronald had a dream when he was sucking his mom's titty. He wanted to palm cities, rocking his fall hoodie in this heat. Nah, man, he ain't no clown. He don't need another guardian to hold the fucking place down. Ronald, I never got to say thank you. If you caught me at a KFC, I never meant to hurt you. I tore down a thousand Burger Kings for talking shit. Have him lost for words on some Stephen Hawking shit. This cancer's got these little kids biting lips. If burgers kill, then fuck it, I'm gonna die from it. I'll fucking die for you, Ronald, I hope you understand. Avoid beef and I'm taking your ass to Pakistan. See, if Ronald and McDonald would have to run a bottle shop, Ronald would unload a couple shots on these fucking cops. See, McDonald's is the finest China quality that make your legs wobble a lava lamp holding Socrates is less postmodern than Ronald. Cause in a thousand years, you and I'll be gone, but the patties keep flipping, the chicken is still delicious, the living expense is limitless. So why the fuck you eating salad, bitch? See, back in 48 was when I heard of this magic place when the atom bomb crushed a small country in its natural state. Rebuild itself into a fine little real estate and reeled in any American change with exceptional taste. But... Smoking some weed now, baby. EVP! Electronic voice. Phenomena, phenomena, phenomena. Everybody blitzed. Keep that to yourself. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that was a uh, pink guy, Filthy Frank. Uh, what was that song called again? Hold on one second here. That was Weird McDonald's Rap, remixed by The At 29. Yeah. Uh, what? Wow. Wow. All right, so now my words are getting all wixed up. And that sign is good to go for the next EVP, I think. We should listen to more EVPs. Because I'm not scared anymore. Now I've I've uh, I've drank from the fountain of of uh, you know from the something to something. Uh, which what's the next EVP I could play here? Uh, I don't know if this was the last. Did I play this one? What is that noise? I don't know. What do you think it is? I don't know. Let's listen close. Nope, nope. We heard that one. Oh man, Watki, I miss him. All right, let's listen to this. Is the next one on the 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 cart reel? He made me. He he actually chopped this uh, tape up and glued it back together for me. So I'm trying to find the place on the thing here. Hold on one second. Here we go. All right, yes. We're going to put the recording device all over here. We we'll put one one over there. Okay. Uh. Uh, don't put, you can't put one in my bathroom, okay? Oh, we have to put it, we have to put it one down. Yeah, but that's, that's my bathroom. You're gonna, you're gonna record me in the bathroom? Listen, listen, you want to, do you want to find Santa, or do you, you want to take pee in privacy, huh? I guess you got a good point, alright, put it there. I saw okay, Nick the Rat's penis! Oh. Check it out. <laughs> that one horrified me. Did you hear what he said? He saw my penis. I'm violated. If you want to give me a call and not if you were ever violated by Santa, give me a call at 917-719-5923. Oh, much like this person did. Wait, where? I don't even know where I am anymore. I'm so, I feel I feel gross. I feel a little I feel a little feel a little dirty. Did you hear what he said? Oh God. Hey there, Nick Rat. This is Randy. I'm calling you from Ontario, Canada. 
What? I was wondering about that Bigfoot show you had. I had a Bigfoot assaulted encounter. It was real gnarly. I almost lost my arm. I could tell you all about it, but I'd rather save it for the Bigfoot assault show. Where do I send my story to? I was in my truck. I was in the outback of Ontario. And I was, uh, I was, you know, I had one arm out the window, but my other arm was a little busy, if you know what I mean. And then I felt something furry grabbing on my arm, and I looked out the, oh, God, it was terrifying, Nick the Rat. Ooh. Where do I send my story? I'd, I'd like to, I'd like to share it with you. That's, that was just the beginning of it. It goes much deeper. All right. Goodbye. Let me know. Call me back. I don't know. Do something. Um, I don't know what the people from Canada sound weird. Uh, if you want to send a story, uh, you could just email me at nick at nicktherat dot com, and uh, I'll pass I'll pass it on to Mystery Man if it's good enough, and he'll read it, and and will it'll be a show. You too could be famous. Well, if you really want to be famous on my show, I I don't know that that. Santa might look at your penis. Oh man. Uh let's listen to some news. Because news is good. This is a uh, this is entertaining the story, I thought. A new study suggests that people with hyperhidrosis, an excessive sweating condition, have increased risks of anxiety and depression. No no shit. Oh come on. Do we really need the news for this? If you're a sweaty bastard, you might be depressed and anxious. I don't, that's, hold on, uh, oh man, that was, that was nasty, I wish, Oof. this beer, Rolling Rock, everybody, don't drink Rolling Rock, it'll make you burp, so if you're ever on a hot date, get some liquor, don't drink beer, that's a Nick the Rat Tap, tap for you, a little tip tap, tip, 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 tap, uh, yeah, let's listen to more of this quote unquote news. Roughly 27% of people with hyperhidrosis showed signs of depression compared to the 10% of normal patients. Wow. The normal patients? But what, what if they had something like, this is why these things piss me off. So they had quote-unquote normal people, and then they had a group of people. Were, were they also quote-unquote normal that just sweat a lot? There could have been tons of other factors. Oh man, these polls and scientific studies, they're, they're ridiculous. I, I wish I was a scientist because you could just write papers. Uh, people that shit their pants are more depressed than people that don't. And in the study, 10% of the normal people were depressed. But uh, 40% of the people with loads of shit in their pants were were more depressed than them. Yeah, uh, Nobel Prize. Thank you. All right, let's listen more. Researchers are unsure of the cause and effect of the findings, but maintain that they do not just... prove that hyperhidrosis caused the mental health issues. Rather, they say excessive sweating may be a part of an anxiety disorder. The results indicate that it could be worthwhile for dermatologists to refer hyperhidrosis patients to mental health professionals. Oh, shit. Wow, that was creepy. So basically, if you... <laughs> If you're sweating a lot, they're going to send you to a shrink. Holy crap. Well, I guess, you know, if I went into the... You, you sir, need help. Oh, boy. Oh. You got to be smooth. Rocket race to the future, everybody. Geek pilot. Be smooth. Don't be sweaty. You'll get reported to the government. You're going to jail.
Be smooth. Don't sweat. Don't go to jail. Be smooth. Rocket race to the future. Oh man, I was by Geek Pilot. That was uh, I feel smooth now. Um, Santa makes me feel a little unsmooth. <sighs> go Daddy too, man. Go Daddy's. Oh, they, they, those people. All oh, those people. I think it's time for more EVPs. Electronic voice phenomenon, baby. That's what we're talking about tonight. That's tonight's tonight's topic is the EVPs. And we're doing them down the sewer. We, uh, I was uh, just going to retell the story how I was down here last week. Last week I, I mentioned something about Santa. And ever since then, he was haunting me. So I called my good front, uh, front my good front, Wati. Uh, from from Africa, I think from West Africa, he's a paranormal psychologist, and he's a pro at EVPs. He was picking them all up. He he usually gets pretty good ones. Like I knew he did this, and I knew I could talk to him about it. So so I gave him a call, and uh, I'm, I'm playing things that we recorded. There was a we we got a lot of we we actually recorded like twenty hours more than this, but it was all just. Me and Watki talking. There was no Santa. But a lot of these clips, we we just sectioned it off where... (sighs) Santa's spirit is in the sewer, and he's pissed, I think. I don't know. Let's listen to this this, this EVP. And now you're telling me this is uh, where you last... You felt something down here once, right? Whoa, whoa. That channel is all warped. How do I reset that channel? Hold on. One second, everybody. We have a we have a channel issue. Oh jeez. Well, we gotta bring that down. And what's the center? 
All right, that that might be good. I don't know. Let's see. And now you're telling me this is uh, where you last you felt something down here once, right? Yeah, in this air duct over here. I was uh, fishing out some some Cheerios that were floating around. They looked still a little bit solid, and uh, I thought I'd reach in there and and grab it. And then I felt something touch my arm. Okay, okay. Let us uh, listen here, really. Listen here, really closely. Cheerios. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. What the fuck? Oh my god, I heard that. Did you hear that? Yeah, oh man, I heard that one. Oh god, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, you are right, my friend. I am leaving. I'm going back to Africa. Yeah, that was that was the last one we recorded. We have other ones. But... Oh, Waki. He, he, he was eager to get out of this. I don't think he liked the bed that I had for him. It was just some newspaper. I don't. I don't have it really good down here in the sewer. It's not the most gracious, uh, glorious, uh, beautiful. It's not the most beautiful setup. Okay, if you want to call me and talk about your house, you could do that. I'll listen. Uh, just give me a call at nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. That's how you get in touch with Nick the Rat. You can leave me voicemails. You could email me at nick at nick the rat dot com. Nick at nick the rat. Nick at nick the rat. Uh. Or you could just leave me uh, these these voicemails like this person did. Hello, this is your friend from the agency. Listen, Larry's doing radio shows from your studio. Uh-oh. Where is your studio? We've tried to flush you out of the sewer before and it didn't work. You're back like genitalia warts. My wife never let that down. Oh, anyway, Nick Wright, you better let us know where the hell you are. We need Larry. He has the serum. He could save the world. Goodbye. Nick the Rat Studio. I uh, am hosting my own show on the Dark wow. Network here in the sewer. Yeah. Wow. Ah, wow. Oh, yeah. Tune in every Sunday at 1 a.m. Wow. Uh, or Monday, I don't know. And I reveal all the truth and conspiracies of the Zika virus. An alien DNA. Yeah, I just thought that uh, that ad would fit perfectly after that voicemail. Uh, if you if you belong to a three agent three agent letter three letter agency, don't call my show, please. Otherwise, give me a call. You can talk about whatever you want. Uh. You know what? Since since you guys are going to expose me, I'm going to expose you. Listen to this news. This In 2004, helpful. Hurricane Charlie hit Florida. FEMA personnel drove around assessing the damage and noticed that several Waffle Houses were either closed or only serving a limited menu. All right, this sounds this sounds fake right here. I think this they're trying to spread a rumor about how this got started. This is like the Waffle House FEMA connection here. Waffle Gate. Tell you this is a uh, this is huge. It was an alarming sight because Waffle Houses almost never close. So the FEMA aid. What, what, what? Really? Yeah. Seven uh, Elevens don't close all the time either. Uh, gas stations. Why Waffle Houses? Like Waffle Houses? Waffle Houses. Like I don't even. Well, I'm also in a sewer, so but I don't know of any Waffle Houses in a 10-mile radius of me. Agents knew things were bad. That's where the Waffle House Disaster Index was born. The group was inspired first to rank Waffle Houses in the same way, green for fully operational, yellow for a limited menu, and red for closed. What? FEMA admitted... There's like a FEMA color scheme for waffles? This is This is the most... Hold on one second. I gotta wait till my vape battery warms up so I could. I just need a. Uh, we need to listen to this with a little bit of. Where is it? All right, it's finally coming. 
Here we go, everybody. Down, down the tube. I need some rolling paper. Uh, let's listen to the rest of this. Administrator W. Craig Fugate has since been quoted as saying, If you get there and the Waffle House is closed, that's really bad. That's where you go to work. The so-called index isn't actually an official metric. FEMA doesn't publish it anywhere. No one, except for Waffle House itself, counts how many restaurants are running lean or forced to close. Wait a second. If this isn't published anywhere or not spoken about, how, how did Whoa Shit News get the hold of this story? How did they get a hold of Wafflegate? But the company does give that count to the agency, and FEMA uses it, along with other objective measures, to judge a storm's impact and to figure out where its own crews and other emergency responders can get fed. <laughs> so it's all because FEMA wants to eat waffles. Oh, wow, Louisiana got hit hard. There's no waffle houses. FEMA's pulling out. Pull out FEMA. There's no waffles. We can't feed the FEMA people. There's no waffles for you. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I need to hear a good song after that one. Let's spin up, uh, instead of waffle houses, let's talk about the House of the Rising Sun. By, remixed by DJ no, Noise 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 Maker. Tell your children. No, 
14. Noisemaker, woo! All these songs should be good onto my uh, SoundCloud lights. I go there or something. I to talk to them. These are, these are commercially available to use for anybody. That's what uh, it says on their web pages. <laughs> and so is this. You can play this anywhere you want. I don't care. If you want to re- replay my show, go for it. I dare you. You might get laughed at. It'll be really bad. Oh boy. On Monday, tech giants Facebook, Google, Twitter, and Microsoft announced they're working together to create a new database that will identify extremist content through a digital hash in their efforts to take down... Ter- digital hash? I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit high, so I made play on this news story. I thought it might inspire me to think of something really interesting, but it just reminds me of how big some companies are. ...terrorism on their platforms. By sharing these hashes through a global database, it will be easier to identify and remove any terror content if it has been published to other platforms. In a statement from the group, they said, We hope this collaboration will lead to greater efficiency as we continue to enforce our policies to help curb the pressing global issue of terrorist content online. What's terrorist content? I don't even know. I, I, I could... I don't... I... I gotta hear some more news. That was this, let's go through a let's do a new clip plates. Oh man, this, I just stole that from Dvorak. Uh, here we go. Let's listen to this one. Let's see what this. This is probably more bad news. According to a Pew Research Center survey on Wednesday, most Americans do not see information overload as a problem for them. Oh man! Despite the explosion of internet data and images. Down from 27% a decade ago, only 20% of U.S. adults feel they get more information than they can handle. What's more information than they can handle? Is that a scientific uh, uh, limit? Is there like a a physical limit of information a human could get before their head explodes or something? How did they test this? Uh, It was like a form. You just check it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of social media, and we hit a check mark, and that's science now. Man, I should have been a scientist. I keep bringing that up. The survey of 1,520 people showed just over three quarters like having so much information at hand. I three think quarters, that- 20 people showed just wait, over three U.S. Sorry. adults feel they get more information than they can handle. The survey of 1,520 people showed just over three quarters like having so much information at hand. The report into how U.S. adults cope with information demand said... Generally, Americans appreciate lots of information and access to it. Roughly four in five Americans agree that they are confident about using the Internet to keep up with information demands and that trustworthy information is easily determined. Is it four out of five of the the original 1,300, 1,500, 1,520, was it? How small of a number is that? (sighs) Their science comes from a... What is... What's the population of America... Compared to 1530, 1520, was it? Oh, boy. What, what is... Why are we listening to... Why are you on the internet listening to me? Oh, yeah. It's because you heard that I have proof that Santa is hunting me or something. I don't know. I have these EVPs, man. Do you want some EVPs? Yeah. You want some more. I, I, I got some more to play. So, 
Let's, uh... Let's see what this EVP was about. Oh, I'm scared. Actually, hold on one second. Uh, I gotta take a drink. These really scared me, people. This is not cool. When you, when you do these EVPs, you don't hear the spirit talking until you play it back. And and me and Watki were we were going throughout the studio. We went to the bathroom. We went to the... There was like a server area with all the wires going into the computers. There's a lot of stuff going down here, but we'll listen to this one. And we'll, I'll talk about it after it's over. Let's just listen. Wait, is that even a good... That's not the good one. Hold on a second. I got to put it to the good... That's not the good one either. Jeez. I shouldn't mess with these numbers. All right, this should be decent enough, right? About... All right, about there. So, so, so what are you doing now? No, that's not I'm just putting in some data into my flux capacitor. If I set it right, he might send us a message. Holy crap. One second. That, these things are, these levels are whoa, wacky. Is there a way to reset it? I gotta see if there's a way to reset here. No. Eject. Eject. There we go. Okay. That works. You just gotta eject the tapes. You know, it's just like, here we go. So, so, so what are you doing now? I'm just putting in some data into my flux capacitor. If I set it right, he might send us a message through the ether. Oh, okay. I t I, I'm totally on board for that. Yep, don't worry. Let me send a message here. Dear Santa, I would like a red fire truck for Christmas. Really? That's what you want for Christmas? That's kind of that's a little lame. Why don't you get like a PlayStation or something? Uh, no. I want a fire truck, okay? And if Santa is here... I I really want it. Dear Santa, please leave Nick the rat alone and give me a red fire truck. Uh, oh man. I hope this pays off. That one had Rainer in it. I think I heard Rainer, right? Did that sound like you said Rainer? This is, I don't think I heard that one before. He must have added that into the clip. That sounded like Rainer. Holy crap. One second, I got to play that. That sounded just like him. Yep, don't worry, let me send a message here. Dear Santa, I would like a red fire truck for Christmas. Really? That's what you want for Christmas? Wait, right there. I just heard Nick the Rat help me. I heard Nick the Rat help... I don't know if... I can't really mess with the levels that much in here, but I hope you could hear this. That's kind of... That's a little lame. Why don't you get like a... You said it again. Nick the Rat help me. A PlayStation or something. Uh, no. I want the fire truck, okay? And if Santa is here... I he just said he doesn't know where he is right now. Walk into the light, Rainer. Rainer, walk into the light. Oh my god. Rainer, Santa, what are you doing? I really want it. Help me! He's saying help me. Santa, please. He just said Rainer. <gasps> it's him. Dear Santa, please leave Nick the rat alone and give me. Oh my god. I am so spooked out right now. I gotta. I gotta relax. Hold on. He got Rainer. Rainer's a badass guy. Kerrigan's even more bad at Oh my goodness. I gotta listen to a voicemail. Yeah, you can give me a call at 917-719-9595. I don't even know my number anymore. Oh my. All I want for Christmas is, is to remember my phone number. Uh, 591916. I don't know it. Let's listen to a voicemail. Am I Hi, Nick the Rat. I'm calling you from inside of a dream. That show you had was so boring that I fell asleep. 
What? <laughs> he should really make better shows. Anyway, I hear my alarm going off. Oh, I better get productive at work today instead of dying. Well, that's that was a little mean, and then it turned. It was like actually, it was nice, and then it was mean. It was like high five, and then the arm swung around and it hit me in the balls. Ouch! But that I, I would like to meet your monkey. You could have your monkey call back in, caller. That was a sound like a really cute monkey, actually. See, now I'm happy again because I don't have to think about uh, Santa Claus, right? No, I don't. Oh boy, it's a good time in the sewer. It's so good. You know what? I gotta listen to another voicemail. It's it's it's, it's good times down here. Hey, rat man, this is Kyle from Seattle. Uh, I'm just calling you, man, because like I haven't like really been around much, but I like listened to that episode of Larry Exposed, man, and it tripped me out, man. I mean, shit. You think he's all right? I mean, I know he mentioned me and everything, man, but it's kind of got me wigged out, bro. I really don't know what to say. I mean, you know, Larry's kind of a weird guy, and uh, I kind of believe him and everything, but, like, I'm freaked out, man. I mean, I, I really want to know what's going to happen next, and, and, you know, I was listening to the episode and shit, and it's like, eh, I don't know. I don't know, man. I mean, what's our future, man? What do you think is going to happen? I mean, there's all this shit going around. That the internet's going to be shut down, you know? I mean, you heard Trump's doing that shit, right? I mean, what are you going to do, man? You're, you're on fucking internet radio. And without it, you're doomed. No, I'm not. No. No, don't worry about it, Kyle. Oh, look, look, if, if the internet goes, I'll just have to write my shows down with p- pad and pen, and, uh, and then I will r- write, I'll, I'll write it and give it out to everybody. I'll, I'll, p- I'll post it on a post. Larry, don't, that was not Larry, that was Kyle. I miss, I miss, I miss everybody. Oh, okay. don't take, don't take away our internet. Um, it's going to be okay, Kyle. No, just man up. <laughs> b- b- lift your head, lift your head, Kyle. Look up to the sky. Just look up there. You, you Are you looking? All right, now reach down and grab your joystick by Sonic 3ZE. Ah. Uh. Hashtag Sewer Chat Votes and Blitz and Haze and Leo Chills and Nick the Rat and Sapphires and Spooky R's and Forty and Bush and and Jonah and Little Judy Little Grubby That one threw me off And Oz Tunin That one throws me off too OZ OZ Tunin Pro go. You go. You go, pro. Pro. Pro go.
grab that joystick. Bye. That was the only the intro I got. I don't know. That was a uh, Sonic 3ZE. Oh, wow. So December has started. Well, actually, it's like a weekend already. Yeah, my last show is in November, and it's already my first in December is the 8th. But, you know, there's going to be a lot more Santa shenanigans going on, I'm sure. I'm mostly sure. There's going to be a lot more voicemails. There's going to be a lot more news. You know what? I got to hear some more voicemail. That song was, it was making me feel jiggy. You know what? Before we hear that voicemail, we're going to... We're going to go more in, people. Why not? Ah, that's a tasty beverage, Josh. Let's listen to a voicemail. 917-719-5923. Hey, Rat, uh, this is Jimmy again, and uh, I know uh, I shouldn't call him more than once, but uh, I gotta tell you, man, uh, I, I just, uh, I ducked in this bathroom over here, and uh, let me tell you something, man, um, I just saw a fucking alien. Yeah, I just saw a fucking alien across the street, man, and uh, it shit was crazy, but uh, it's exactly what Larry said it was. Uh, it, the shit had a fucking uh, a, a human attached penis on its chest, and it's running around with flapping around and everything, and it's pissing and shitting and just screaming. And, oh, man, it's a fucking feces everywhere. It's fucking semen everywhere. I mean, uh, what, what, what the fuck are we going to do, man? I mean, what, what the fuck is this? I mean, uh, like, what does it all mean? Get back to me, man. Also, uh, thank you for the shipping the K2. All right, buddy. I keep telling him to stop talking about the K2 shipments on the thing. All right, look, man. The aliens, they, they're just here. For fun, okay. They wanted to party. And, you know, alien... Like, you never see aliens party, right? You don't. You can't imagine... Like, imagine any alien right now. All right, now that you have the thought of the alien in your head, can you imagine them having, like, a house party or something? You know, like, doing cocaine off some hookers and, and Vegas and drinking liquor? No, that doesn't come to... Only humans do that. That's what they're here for. Don't you get it, man? It's they're they're good to go. They're here for fun. Don't be scared. Just because they don't they're they're not built for it. You know what I mean? The the because if even if you think about it, they're just not built for it. And that's why you can't imagine it. But when it's happening, it's all be it'll be good. All right, man. That's um. Okay, let's um go to hear more of the. EVPs, right? We have a lot of EVPs, I think. Let's. Did we hear this one? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Why don't you turn? Why don't you turn the lights out? This. Oh, this is kind of scary. Oh, he put this one in there. Um, let me just say, w w Waki was. He's a good guy. Don't don't get a different opinion about him, okay? He, there's nothing really. It was it was all consensual. It was an accident. He explained it to me later. I don't know if it, he because he explained to me like after the day was over. So I know he's it's the explanation's not going to be in this clip, okay? I know what this is. Oh. Right. EVPs. This is when you record spirits from beyond. Santa Claus is in the sewer. Watki, my West African soothsayer, he was uh, helping me record these. Let's listen in. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Why'd you turn? Why'd you turn the lights out? This, oh, this is kind of scary. Don't you? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't worry. We are just the recording stuff. This is we five hours down here already. Nothing happened. Oh, yeah, it's still oh, scary oh. and it's dark. You turn the lights off. Uh, I think I think I feel somebody touching me. Yes, you should feel this right now. This is what Santa does, especially in dark times. Oh, uh, this is really weird. It's it's going on my leg. Oh, don't don't you worry. I think he's just feeling around in the dark. Oh, uh, I'm gonna turn the lights on. What the? Hey, why are you touching me? I was not touching you. You're, you're totally mistaken. Oh, get out of my sewer. <sighs> it was a little emotional, the, the scene between us, but um, if you heard uh, the spirit, oh, it sounded like another baby. There was a... That was a really traumatic... 
a couple of minutes for me. Let's. Is there any other EVPs here? I think there's more. Oh, the best one. This was uh this one. It, it, we heard it like the all the other ones. You could kind of understand what they're saying, but listen to this, and this is gonna blow your mind. This EVP right here. You know what? Before we do that, let's listen to one that's not gonna blow your mind. Let's listen to a normal one. Then we'll go to the one that'll blow your mind after that. Yeah, this is the. Uh, this is where all the nuts and bolts in the sewer for my studio come from. It's a little noisy down here, but I could have sworn I saw like a red glow. I don't know what it was. We we know that uh, Santo oh. he got a uh, Rudolph. Oh. Rudolph, he got the nose. More sand. I hear. Very bright, very bright, my friend, and um, oh, might be that. We will stocking this we'll year. put a little bit of this year mistletoe. Uh. Oh man, mistletoe! That was the first time I got laid was because of mistletoe. Thank God for mistletoe. Yeah. And we'll put the recording device down here, and we will keep it here. We will see if we get anything. Oh my god, Did you see that? I saw the light too. Yeah, I saw the light. Quick, grab the recording device and let's get out of here. Okay, the this is a good light. Yeah, I don't. This is, this is scary. Um, Santa did not just say I was a virgin. He's wrong. Don't listen to think. <sighs> yeah, in that clip you hear him. He says he was a virgin. Thanks, Santa. Motherfucker. Okay, look. We're gonna... I'm gonna get to the root of this. I'm gonna find out where Santa's getting his information and I'm going to go there and make sure that doesn't happen anymore. Okay, let's go to, uh, we, 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 we gotta get, we gotta get out of the sewer, but we got more news and we got more EVPs and, and we got another song coming up. Let's go to some news. Ooh. Astronomers can easily predict eclipses, and they can say when the moon will pass in front of a distant star to a fraction of a second. Astronomers can also find out when and where these events happened in the past. However, a new survey of hundreds of eclipses... And fractions of a second? Ooh. You're so cool. ...dating back to the 8th century BCE, finds that eclipses are not as predictable as scientists thought. The study identifies that this is because Earth's spin is slowing down slightly and small hiccups in the spin rate need to be considered. Leslie Morrison, an astronomer now retired from the Royal Observatory Greenwich in London, says there have been about a million days since 720 BC. Over this long a time... Been about, about, been, about been about a million days since 720 BC. Been about... Been about... Oh wow, I'm getting pretty drunk everybody. Everybody, uh, cheers to you. Thanks for hanging out on episode 51. Wow. That's awesome. Let's, let's, wait, wait, we're not done yet. No, I don't know. Even a gradual slowdown in Earth's rotation becomes evident. Wouldn't, um, uh, daylight pretty much be the first sign that we get of Earth's rotation slowing? Other than these ancient eclipses? You know what I mean? Like, that's... Right there, these ancient eclipse, uh, eclipses, Ec eclipses. Oh man! All right, let's listen to another voicemail. Uh, if you if you want to give me a call right now, if you if you're pretty drunk and trashed and you want to talk to me, I'll talk to you. We could talk about Santa. We could talk about. We could talk about. Duh. Storing dead creatures in people's houses to get them arrested. Uh, mosquitoes, not like in DDTs. That's like a wrestling move, right? Uh, yoga. Yoga is really bad and it's, it's funny. People do weird yoga. Amy Schumer is not a puma. A uh, puma. Amy Schumer is not a puma. Uh, sweating will get you arrested. Well, actually, that's that's been true for a long time, I guess. Facebook and Google are big and evil, evil. Oh boy, and Americans don't care, and scientists are nerds. Uh, nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. What? 
I'm calling you from the bathroom. I thought I'd get in touch with you before I call anybody else. You might believe me. Other people won't. I was just taking a shower. And from the drain, there were, like, these tentacles. Like, uh... It was like an octopus or something. I don't know what the fuck it was. I'm still in the bathroom. I'm scared to look down inside the train. But, oh, you signed to kind of give me a little bit of courage. I'm going to, I'm going to go close to the train now. Hold on. Hold on here. And then you have to push it down there. Oh my god. It's just, <laughs> Um, um, I, I, what is snuff called if it's on the radio? Is it still snuff? That might have just been a snuff phone call. I'm sorry if, if you weren't expecting that, then I should have gave a warning, I guess. That should be like a warning before the show that you might hear somebody die. Oh, I'm sorry if that... If that was upsetting, if we have kids in the room, audio snuff. Oh, jeez. That was pretty rough. Uh, let's... Oh, wait. Did I go through all of them? Are we ready for the granddaddy of everything over here? Uh, oops, sorry. Pardon me. Yeah, okay, listen to this one. This is EVP. This is the final EVP for the night, everybody. Hold on. Uh, before I do this, I gotta get ready. This, this, was, uh, this is gonna blow your mind, this one. If this doesn't, if, if this doesn't prove that I'm being haunted by Santa, I don't know what will. All right, here you go. This is a EVP number five, seven, nine, two with, uh, Nick the Rat and Watke. Uh, listen, and then I'll explain what you're hearing. Here we go. I'm just going to play it up. Here we go. I definitely feel, definitely feel that this is. This right here is definitely, I could feel, I could feel the fat man here. Yeah, I, ho, 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 this, ho, 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 Jingle bell. That's that's the chant, just jingle bell? Yes, that is that is the chant, my friend. Jeez, don't you question me. I'm the expert. Yeah. You are. Oh. That's, that's why I let you in here even though you're naked. When you're naked, Santa knows the power. He feels the power, cut, but cut that. Oh, okay. I I guess I trust you. Alright. Okay. You know, he he looked, it was hot in the sewer. I was naked too, for all of its worth. Uh, but you might not have, you, you heard something. I heard it too. And we didn't know what was going on. But this proves Santa is evil. When you play in reverse, you could hear what he says, okay? <sighs> And instead of you having doing it, I'll I'll do it for you. Okay, we're gonna play that one in reverse, and let's see if you could hear, if you could hear what I heard. I don't know if you could hear it, then I could hear it too. But we're gonna play. I, let, me, let me put this in reverse here. Hit these buttons. And... All right, listen close. <sighs> oh, warning: If there's any kids in the room, this is a this is disturbing. Okay, is everybody ready? Is sewer chat ready? Let me let me get a I'm ready in in sewer chat. I don't want to scare anybody. All right, sewer chat, you, you gotta you listen to it anyway. Here we go. Research this second. Yeah. Hey, come on. Let's go. Roll up, let's go. Roll up, let's go. There's no speaking ring. Now listen. It's coming up. Oh, how? Hey. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Oh, Bloom is just gnashing its head. Where is it? Bloom is. Bloom is. Bloom is. I'll murder him with candy canes. He just said, I'll murder him with candy canes. That is horrifying. Did you hear that? Let me hear me. I'll murder him with candy canes. I heard it. Oh my god. He's going to murder me with candy canes. I gotta move. I gotta... Does anybody have studio space? I don't know. I like sewers, but, you know, I'll take high-rises and penthouses. But there's more people. People, there's more. Let's. I'm just going to play that again, and so you can hear it, so we could just sink in. That sand is coming for me, and I will not stand for it. No, 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 no. I'll murder him with candy canes. Oh, no. Hell Satan. He just said Hell Satan. He said Hell Satan. He said Hell Satan. This is fucked up. Santa Claus. Sa- Santa. Santa Satan. Santa Satan. That's not too many let that's not too many let that's not a lot of letters. Uh it's, they're pretty close. Oh my god. Um if I'm around next week, I gotta call Watki. Oh my god. Did he I I only listened to the first part. I didn't know that there was more. I don't know if he even knew that he let this run that long. This is disturbing. He's going to swallow my soul. He's going to stab my eyes with candy canes and hail Satan and swallow my soul. You're excited. You think? I'll swallow your soul, Nicarag. Oh! 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 I just want to say thanks for tune, tune in and tune, tune in and ha- hashtag super chat Nick at Nick the rat. I don't know. Oh boy. Happy holidays. Really? Are they even that happy? Hell Satan. Small souls. Rainer's gone. Larry's gone. Please stay tuned for the next episode of Bigfoot Assault coming on right after this song. But I gotta, I gotta, I gotta figure something out. Maybe I'll do some, uh, some orgy board. I heard the orgy board's really good. Uh, what, they're wooden though. Who wants to have an orgy on a wooden board? You're gonna get splinters. That's like a recipe for splinters. But if that keeps uh, Santa out of here, we're gonna, we're gonna stay in the holiday spirit though. We're doing it, and we're gonna do it with this uh, funny Christmas song. It's a parody. Suck My Cock by Denmark Queen. Happy holidays, everybody. Stroke of my, lick of my, suck of my cock. It's the first time for you. So here's what you do. Unzip me and strip stay, me stay and show me you care. Don't go ripping out my pubic hair. Reach for my, grab for my, pull at my cock. You can do it with ease. Just Get on your knees, start licking and slurping, my dick will get firm. Soon you'll be tasting sperm. Do it right now. I'll and murder don't him with candy now. canes. I'll drag your tongue across my meat. If you Hell give me Satan. Head, oh, oh, there's oh, no need oh, to oh, spread. Oh, oh. By now you should know a blowjob can't be beat. 
I'll swallow your soul, Nick the Rat. The secret is not to choke. Take my shaft by its face. Stuff the whole thing in your face. That's how you suck on my cock. Scream. Although your throat is sore, you'll have to open more to gasp your last breath before I shoot my cream. Slurp it up, lick it up, don't ever stop. Swallow every last drop. Now that you eat my meat, I'll never have to beat my meat. Thanks for stroking mine, thanks for licking mine, thanks for sucking my cock. Nick the Rat! Hey, motherfucker. You're a badass motherfucker. I just wanted to tell you that, motherfucker. I'll murder him with candy canes. <laughs> Hell, Satan. <laughs> I'll swallow your soul, Nick the Rat. Oh! Ho, 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 ho.